Hi, I am Hans Wilhelm and in this video in the Life Explained series I would like to share some details of what happens when we incarnate. The reason why souls like us incarnate into this world are manifold. Now, Some come to heal, some come to observe, some come to experience or to assist other souls. But most of us come here for karmic reasons, meaning we want to undo our karma and we also want to grow and wake up to our true essence. Now, Planet Earth is a magnificent schooling ground for that, because on planet Earth souls from all different vibration and consciousness can incarnate. Normally in the spiritual world we are surrounded usually by souls of similar vibration like ourselves. But once we are here on Earth we can learn, mix, mingle from other souls of different awareness and different consciousness. It's a very unique and special place and it's also a very beautiful planet. Now let's look what happens before we incarnate. We are spiritual beings or souls and our true home is the spiritual world. Here we continuously learn and grow, but the growing process is slow because we are only surrounded by like-minded souls or similar vibration. And being in a totally different environment with lots of challenges like for instance here on Earth, that can speed up our growing and awakening process. Now most of us have been here on Earth many, many times before and have still karmic ties to other souls we encountered in previous lifetimes. So when we decide to return to Earth, we very carefully discuss and plan our visit with our spiritual guide or guides, there may be more. There we will show a rough outline of our life. It's sort of like a riverbed with all the twists and turns there are all our challenges and all these challenges and difficulties we will see in pictures. We will agree to them prior our incarnation because we know they will help us in our growth and what we want to achieve. And to assist us during our visit, some souls with whom we are very close may join us. They can be our future earthly mother, father, relative, friend or spouse. And most likely we have been together on earth many times with them before and may even have karmic ties that bind us together. Now, in addition to clearing up past karma, we also want to develop divine qualities again like love, peace, compassion and mercy. Now, let's say for as an example, we feel that we are by nature a bit cold, not as loving as we like to be. And we decide in our future life we really want to learn love. According to the universal law of attraction, we can only be attracted to a mother and also a father of similar vibration. So in other words, we will be born to parents who also have trouble expressing love, just like us. They are the same vibration, like attracts like, so our parents have the very same vibration characteristics as we have. Prior to our actual birth, we will try out our future bodies a few times to see if it fits in mommy's tummy. Now, that is always when the baby is kicking in the tummy, that, then when the soul is actually in the embryo and try out if it fits. But we fully connect and bind with the body only at the actual birth when we take our first breath. Then the soul and body are united. And here we are. Now let's make a little baby prem here. And there we are. And we are very unhappy. Because after being born to parents of similar vibration, we are now painfully reminded and exposed to a behavior pattern that mirrors our own character. And as a young child, we will deeply crave for love and affection and may experience the very same environment that we may have given our own children in past lives. You see, the parents in this lifetime could easily have been our own children in the previous lifetimes. Now see what happens when we grow up and grow a little bit bigger. The pain of lack of love is deeply felt in us as a big, big void, something lacking. But now look what happens as we grow up. And when we grow up, 
this very void or this lack in our childhood will now become the source and spark that ignites our passion our driving force the stronger we perceive the void the stronger the drive to compensate the stronger the passion therefore children that grow up in very cold homes can become very passionate and loving parents themselves and due to their increased passion or drive they are now able to find and give an enormous amount of love so instead of hoping that we had had the perfect and ideal parents or home when we grew up we should rather look at what we think was lacking according to our own perception and then turn this lack around and let that energy become our passion for instance children that think they grew up in extreme poverty may develop a strong drive for wealth and sharing that wealth whatever we perceive as a lack can become our driving force now once we understand this dynamic we will no longer blame our parents but instead thank them for having given us the most perfect environment for our unique growing and awakening process well I don't know about you but the more I study these incredible laws and dynamics in life the more and more I am at awe about how the spiritual world is helping and assisting us to succeed at every turn in our life.